We'll just quickly rebuild it. Carbide's got this look. Look at this dude. Carbide! Come back! Come back! Come back! Hey up troops, welcome back to the Latana Army. I'm Litz and this is Fortnite Save the World. And what I want to look at today is how to get these birthday llamas and the road trip llamas using these road trip tickets. Now it's super, super easy. The best way that you can do it is to actually farm missions. That's the way that I'm finding it, actually farming through the missions. But they're not all as effective as the others. So I'm going to show you which ones are effective and which ones aren't effective. I'm also going to show you some gameplay as well of them actual missions. But the three ways to actually get these storm trip tickets are the first one is to actually buy the llamas. So this one, for example, we opened these earlier today, the super range llamas. Now to buy one of these, this would cost a thousand V-Bucks, as you can see there. Now that would mean that you're going to get out of this llama guaranteed at least 1,000 road trip tickets. So buying this super range llama is actually guaranteeing you a birthday llama. Which actually means that all the llamas now at the moment, right now, are actually worth getting. The upgrade llamas are exactly the same. If I open one upgrade llama just to show you. <laughs> so I've just paid 50 for this llama. Now I'll just it's going to be trash, so we're just going to skip through it. Okay, skip through. So there you go, look. So I've got 50 tickets because we've just used 50 V-Bucks to get that. So that's got us... 50 road trip tickets as well. Now I wouldn't get the road trip, I wouldn't get the upgrade llamas still. I mean 10 llamas for 500 V-Bucks. For what you're gonna get out of there, it's not just not worth it. It's still not worth it. You don't get them from the mini llamas. You know, if you open up a mini llama, you know, you'll get gold from these. I'm full but of But because these are mission rewards, you're not gonna get the same. So if I just open what this up, the silver one, and I'll just skim through again, because it's only a mini llama. And we should get some gold from this at least. There we go, some gold, some gold, some gold. So, and that was a good one actually, because it turned silver. So if you look there, we actually got some gold from that, but there's no road trip tickets in there. So they're not ones for road trip tickets. All the other llamas though, definitely fair game. Now the other way to do it, we talked about missions a second ago. Now, what you want to look at is if you look at these on here, so I saw on Reddit someone saying that, you know, you want to be going for encampments and you want to be going for, you know, rescue the survivors. It's partly why I made the video. They're the worst ones that you can go for. The main reason being, once you go into these missions, you're kind of locked in for about 20 minutes. So I think, I can't remember if it's 15 or 20 minutes on the timer for these. But what that means is you're, you know, you're kind of going to take 20 minutes to get the same amount of uh, road trip tickets that you can get elsewhere. So what you want to look at, check out the rewards down here in the bottom left. And go for a mission, something like, um, let's have a look. So Ride the Lightning is a great one. So if you look on here, if we look at this Ride the Lightning here, it gives 98 road trip tickets, 55 reperk, which is great. Do you know, on there as well. So that one is a great mission to actually do to get the 98 tickets. And Ride the Lightning is basically two three-minute waves. It's six minutes of actual fighting in that mission. That is it. It's one of the shortest missions what you can do. Now, the build time is down to you. As long as you don't go over your level, you know, then you'll be absolutely fine. If you go over your level, it might take you a little bit longer. It will be more fun, don't get me wrong, but it might take you a little bit longer. Now, if you go for one of these, do you know, further up here with Ride the Lightning missions, if we go like one of these, one of these lower level ones, so if you look up there, that one's a really good one because that's got 18 pure drops of rain and four pure drops of rain with it as well. This one has also got 88 road trip tickets and 18 pure drops of rain on there as well. So you could farm pure drops of rain and road trip tickets at a really good rate just by doing these two. Now this one down here, this Ride the Lightning, this one's slightly over my power level. I could probably get away with that because it's 68. But if you look at these, the amount you're going to get back from doing missions down here is 98. It's only 10 road trip tickets difference. You may as well actually go for the lower ones because you're going to farm them much, much easier. You don't have to put loads of traps down. The defense is going to be easier and you're only going to get 10 less tickets. So anyway, let's jump into a mission and let's just see how quick we can do a Ride the Lightning mission. I'm going to do a higher end one in this one just to see how we get on. <laughs> but do you know what? What this means is if I do a higher end one, it just means that if you guys go and do the lower end missions, it'll be even faster. So let's jump in and see how we get on. Okay, so if you look at this and it's just two three minute waves, that is it. You don't have to build over elaborately for these, I don't think. Do you know, maybe in twine these are going to be a much, much harder. But right now, <laughs> just got a cow with a pumpkin launcher coming in front of us there. But these are like super fast. If you just do ride the lightning missions, you basically get two three minute waves. That is it. Now, yeah, they're not going to be easy waves. Depending on, oh, wow. Depending on what level you've gone for. <laughs> Here we are, here we are. I mean, you can put as much traps up. They don't take a ton of resources. But with the right kit and the right loadout, it should be fairly easy. 
And once you've got the base built, which takes, I don't know, less than five minutes? Do you know what I mean? If you're, if you're a good constructor, if you've got someone who's fast at building, they can be up there in absolutely no time at all. It takes nothing. But you can actually have, you know, your base up in a couple of minutes, and then all you've got is six minutes of the actual mission, and you're done. You know, I wouldn't go... A lot of people overbuild for Ride the Lightning. Do you know? And certainly, I, mean, I know this changes when you get higher up, when you get to um, Twine and things like that. But for right now, this is, like, super easy. Do you know? All you've got to do is just stop two six-minute waves. Be brave, little fort. And it's super simple. There's no faster way to do it. Well, obviously, paying with your own money would be a faster way to do it. But other than that, this is just a super quick way. Just hammer the Ride the Lightning missions... And just get these two waves out. Learn to build the bases up quick. It's probably good practice as well for a lot of people. Do you know, if that's something that you find difficult. Okay, let's just get in because I need to get around the other side. Because we've got a smasher. There you go. Have a grenade as well. I'm just going to push through. <laughs> yeah, we got him, look. We got him. And we got the bears up as well. Alright, grenade that I didn't need. <laughs> And the good thing about this as well, it's fun. I mean, this boring one, you can do a lower level one. If you want to make this even easier, uh, you can do a lower level mission, you know. So just go under level. You'll not get much, you'll not get much under the amount of tickets that you would have got anyway. Grenade. So your ticket amount will actually be similar to what you would have got. You might get 10, 15 tickets less. But that's it. Oh, I'm definitely down. Oh, we're all down. That's not good. <laughs> Okay, but the good thing is, it's 30 seconds. The base is going to hold 30 seconds. We'll just quickly rebuild it. Carbide's got this look. Look at this dude. Carbide! Come back! Wow. You know what? I'll get myself up. So all you really got to do is just thin out the waves, Catch. which we're doing. Another smasher. We could do without a mini boss on this. I think a mini boss would probably push us over the edge to failure, or it certainly could. All right, I've got another one here. We just got to prioritize the smashes and blasters if we see any blasters. All right, here we go. Here we go. <laughs> all right, but this is the way. Do you know what? This is the way the game's meant to be played, I think. Do you know, up to your difficulty level. Do you know, so play it so that it's difficult for you. It shouldn't be too easy. But also make it so that it's fun at the same time as well. Alright, there we go. Nice. And we know we're going to get even more smashes anytime soon. So there do seem to be tons of them. Alright, we've got another one. Got another one. Two minutes left. All right. This is a fun two minutes as well. I do like it when it's a little bit more manic like this. Why are you floating above your bear like that? That is that is strange. Whoa. Okay, let's keep that grenade in there. Should be enough to take out the little husk. All right. And it looks like we've got people on the walls around here. Yes, we do. All right. Let's go. Let's get that up there. Do you know what? Let's pop the machine gun. Railgun, minigun, whatever you want to call it. <laughs> All right, we got more coming. Someone distract that smasher. Okay, that'll stop the smasher from smashing. He went through the wall. No more All right, he can't do anything to the base, so we're actually okay. Catch. So what have we got left? 40 seconds, that is it. And you know what? It's 40 seconds of fun. You don't have to, like... Cheese this way of grinding it out. It's actually a fun way to grind out the tickets as well. But I still think this is the most efficient. I don't think there's a faster way. I saw the checker video, uh, which is an awesome way if you can get that mission. Problem is, I don't know anyone that's got that gunslinger mission, which is another way to do it. I'll link that in the description, actually. So you guys can see that in case you've got the mission. All right. So we are definitely, definitely not making this easy for ourselves. So we've got 11 seconds to hold up. We can do that now. This is pretty much done. We'll still get the tickets. Launch in three, Come on. Two, one, All right, there we go. So we got it. <laughs> got a van. All right, so that's all of those done then. So let's have a look at the rewards that we've got. So we've got level four loot. We didn't get the top loot chest, but we've got 30,000 schematic XP, 99 gold. And then we also got on there as well, the pure drops of rain. And these are what we wanted, the road trip tickets. 
at the same time. Now, when we've actually finished, because we can't get them all in one go, and when we get these as well, we get, and we're going to get another... Well, the piece of cake one even. So when we get another two birthday cakes, which we will get in the next mission, that's another 100 that we'll get. I always just work out the ratio of that to 50. Don't forget to get the cakes in every single mission that you do and do it that way. But that's one of the other ways that you can do it, guys. So the three main ways then that you're going to be getting more birthday llamas is first of all, you know, you can buy the ticket. So you can spend real V-Bucks, be that real money or be that your actual V-Bucks that you've got. And you can just buy things like super range llamas. And for every V-Buck that you spend, you're going to get a road trip ticket. So if you spend a thousand V-Bucks, you're going to get two, th you're going to get a thousand, uh, you know, road trip tickets as well. The only llamas that don't give out the tickets are these guys, the mini llamas, because these are more like quest, uh, quest rewards. So you're not going to get the same, uh, you know, perks that you're going to get from these llamas that you're buying with V-Bucks. So these don't usually give out road trip tickets. But the upgrade llamas, birthday llamas, road trip llamas, super range llamas, uh, you know, troll truck llamas, the smorgasbord llamas, everything, upgrade llamas, everything, all give road trip tickets as well. And if you're going to do missions in order to get your road trip tickets, then the ones I would stick to, my personal favorite one for farming the tickets is Ride the Lightning, just because it's super easy. Look, I've got 80 tickets there. Do you know what? I'll probably do this one next. But there's 80 tickets there, there's four lots of pure drops of rain, and there's another 18 pure drops of rain there. So that one's actually a really good mission to do to actually get a ton of tickets. I can get the cake as well. So you can just be constantly farming the tickets all the time. You're almost like getting a passive income of road trip tickets, which is the absolute utopia when it comes to getting these road trip tickets. So guys, I hope that has been helpful. If you know an even quicker way that you can farm tickets, then let me know in the comments down below. You know me, I'm always open to feedback and I always love to hear what you guys have got to say. So please let me know, you know, your ways of farming down in the comments below. If you're not a part of the Latana army already, guys, make sure you subscribe and I will catch you next time. Thanks for watching, guys.